What up guys, Collection Reaction here, and today we have 10 Dragon Bakugan. So not all these guys are Dragonoids, about 6 of them are I think, and the rest are just Dragons. So first right here we got Cross Dragonoid, one of the coolest Bakugan ever invented, if you ask me. So he spins, we'll do it again to get the full effect. But uh, I like this one because he like clicks, that's how you know he's in ball form. Yeah, it's a pretty cool Bakugan. He has a couple manual pieces as well. This guy definitely deserves a spot on these 10 Dragon Bakugan list. And I haven't removed his G sticker as you see, so he's mystery Gs. Next, we have this Hyper Dragonoid that I customized. It's both Aquas and Pyrus. So, pretty cool Bakugan. And, you know, I had to feature some that. I've custom made and stuff because uh, I spend the time to do it. I want to at least show it off, you know? Yeah, here's this Hyper Dragonoid. Super slick, super nice, 600 Gs. Awesome Bakugan in general. Really nice addition to my collection. Alrighty. Next, we have what was known as the strongest Pyrus. Or not Pyrus, sorry. Was it, was it Pyrus? Or strongest Dragonoid? It's a Polyneer. A Polyneer is just a badass. That's all you gotta know. He's like if Naga was good. Maybe I'm a little bit over exaggerating him. But at 470 Gs, he's a pretty strong Bakugan. Alright guys. Next we have a fan favorite. Ventus Helix Dragonoid. This guy, pretty cool. Pretty sure he appeared in Mechanium Surge. Or somewhere around there. And his feet are impossible to get off. Or get open, rather. And so, yeah, you do this. And then he has the pegs on the back. So that you could add... Oops, I'm dropping stuff. Oop, butterfingers. So you pop that on. And then you can just slam one of these battle gears on him. It looks cooler when it pops out. But this video is not about battle gears. It's about Dragonoid Bakugan. And Dragon Bakugan. So, next we got... Probably my second favorite in this list. Fusion Dragonoid, Ventus Fusion Dragonoid. This guy was one of the first guys I made videos on and actually helped popularize my Instagram. So, really thankful for this Bakugan and I just love it. Boom. Yeah, that just happened. You saw that. I want you to go ahead and rewatch that in slow mo and tell me it wasn't the most badass thing you've ever seen. This, in my opinion, is the coolest Dragonoid there is. Um, not the coolest dragon. The coolest Dragonoid, definitely. Fusion Dragonoid, epic. All right, next we have Bujin Dragon. And this guy is one of the first Baku Tech I got. He's actually one of the Bind System Baku Tech. So if you see, he comes apart and you can exchange the parts with other Bakugan that are Bind System. I just don't have any on hand to show you, but take my word for it. This guy, Bujin Dragon, very awesome Bakugan. Man, just look at these guys over here. They're like taking over. Yeah, let's get get all hyper dragonoid over there. Alrighty. And um we're missing one. Oh well. <laughs> Next we have Blue Pyrus Rise Dragon, which is an absolutely outstanding Bakugan. Probably up there with one of my rarest Bakugan. But yeah, this guy, all fully automated pieces, no manual pieces, a very epic Bakugan, and so epic that I think we should do a few rolls of him. Like, he deserves it. Oh, fail. Oh, oh, oh. No one saw that. Alright, one more time for good measure because I love Rise Dragon. If you guys are wondering where I get all these Bakugan, a lot of them have had since my, you know, like childhood growing up. And, you know, some of them I've acquired just over the past couple years. But uh, I didn't get into Bakugan like really heavily until about a year ago. And that's when I first got my original Rise Dragon, this one. And I knew as soon as I got it, that it was something special. And then this one came around 
And this one is, you know, Pyrus, but it's blue, so it's just absolutely crazy. I call him Inferno. And yeah, just take a minute to appreciate the Rise Dragons. Like, tell me that's not one of the most beautiful Bakugan you've ever seen. Definitely my favorite Baku Tech Bakugan, even more than this Bujin Dragon. Alrighty, guys. Next, we have Neo Dragonoid, which a lot of people like, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't really like him because of these floppy wings he's got. Like, what's that about? Couldn't we have made a better design? But I do think his parts are exchangeable with some other Bakugan, which is kind of interesting. But that's just hearsay. But there you go. This badass Neo Dragonoid. And he is the part of the Maximum Dragonoid where you combine it with all these different parts. So if any of you guys know about that, it's pretty cool. Never really appealed to me though. And these next two are something very special, you guys. These are my custom, I'm pretty sure they're Ultimate Dragonoids. But uh, I had the Translucent Subterra Baku Solar one, and then I had the Baku Frost Pyrus one. And I went ahead and combined them, and the results are these. Absolutely breathtaking Bakugan. Oops. If they work. Oh, I was bragging too much. Let's redo that. Outtakes, you know. This won't be in the video. Just kidding, it will be. Alright. Well, I don't know what that was about, but I'm upset. <laughs> it uh could have went better, but there's the one. And hopefully this is the better working one. There we go. That's what that one was supposed to do, but it decided to be contrary because it's on video. And you guys know how everything messes up on video. Like, as soon as you put a camera on something, something is bound to happen that is going to be unfortunate. Like, that's how so many things get popularized, though. Like, so many, like, viral videos started on something that, like, people just couldn't look away. If that makes any sense. Like, somebody caught, like, a car crash on camera or something, and people are like, you know, I don't want to watch it, but I can't help but look away. Or, I mean, can't help but look at it. And this guy is officially broken. I think it's going to be the first Bakugan I smash on camera. Where's my saber? This thing's dying. Urgh. Good enough. Um, I wouldn't leave you guys with just that, so let's go ahead and search through these Bakugan I have laying over here. Here's a clear Chaos Cyborg Helios. Pretty cool Bakugan. He's got these manual feet. Got the manual horn. And I closed him wrong. Close him like this. So yeah, I don't know if this guy is technically considered a dragon, but I feel like he still fit the theme. So, here is Cyborg Helios. Next, ooh, we're gonna pull out a big one. Alright guys, uh, this is gonna like, turn from the top 10 dragons just to like, me showing off Epic Bakugan, because I can't help but show this next one off. This is Bone Skulls, Baku Tech. Yeah. You just saw that. That happened. We're gonna do it again. And the bass drops. Ooh. I'm like nodding back and forth to the music. Can't see it on camera because I'm, uh, you know, not face revealing for a couple more thousand subscribers. Ooh. Yeah, guys, that is Bone Skulls. And then, because I love showing them off, Here's my single-headed Hydronoid. And my tail is stuck. Now it's not. Somebody was asking me in the comments, uh, how do you fix a broken tail on a Hydronoid? The short answer is you don't. Because they're just too valuable to just try to tinker with. Like this one I got, it came broken. I got it for like $8. And I just took it apart and fixed a couple parts in it. And now it's perfect. The tail is still player hates all the time, but that's what you should expect with a Hydronoid. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and if you stuck this long on the video- blah, 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 blah. If you stuck around this long for the video, uh, go ahead and leave a comment and tell me what you guys thought, and what you want to see next, and I'll try to make it for you. 
So, you guys have a great day, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and leave a like if you like this stuff. Later.